I've had some people ask about how rodent proof the buildings are. And I'll actually show you how that works. So come with me and we'll go take a look. When you take a look at this, it looks super sketchy. Like rodents are gonna just rip in there. I mean, raccoons can dang near fit in there by the looks of that. But that's because this isn't quite finished. So what's gonna happen here, you can see this is pressure treated lumber. This is gonna get graded out. So it's flush against this up on this wood a little bit. But we're not just relying on the ground to stop the rodents. Cause as you know, rats and stuff, they'll just dig right through that. No problem through that dirt. So we'll go on into the inside of the building and I'll show you what it's gonna look like on the inside and why rodents actually won't be able to get in there. Yes, yeah, so this is what the inside looks like just in the process of getting the vapor barrier on here. But the slab's gonna be right around here, pretty close to the top of this pressure treated wood, which is at the same height as we saw on the exterior of the building. So you can see this gap under here is just gonna disappear. So you end up having the insulation here for the under slab insulation for the heat pipe to run in. And then you'll have a six inch slab that's gonna come up to here somewhere. And so there's no possible way that any rodents can come in there. And if we go over here into this other corner, right here where we don't have the vapor barrier on, you can see inside the wall here, down in the bottom, there's uh, it's built with a trough. So we've got pressure treat on the bottom and pressure treat on either side. And then all the gaps in there, if there are any, they're all spray foamed and sealed shut. And then this insulation actually goes right down inside that trough. So you've got insulation between your slab and the exterior, which is really cool.